California. Now, this is what it looks like over into Anaheim. So let's start out with something nice and pleasant to talk about. Beautiful conditions for this afternoon. And if you're heading out to Anaheim, uh, anywhere around the park, it's going to be nice. We're going to be in the low 70s. Great for walking around. This morning, though, it's about 51 degrees. And there are some really cold temperatures across Southern California still this morning. 44 degrees. That's it for Irvine. So you want to take a sweater or jacket and bundle up. You're going to want to maybe even get a scarf going uh, just because there is that chill in the air. 39 degrees out there in the right would get those heaters going. 52 if you're traveling out towards areas of Los Angeles, and it's about 44 to 45 degrees out there in Van Nuys and Burbank here this morning. And look at one of the cooler spots over in Chino Hills, only 43 as you're starting out the morning. Long Beach, right at the airport, it's 41. So registering some really cold temperatures out there and 42 degrees out towards Ojai. Now, a big change on the way for Southern California, too. We're going to get on some of this. Now, there's a bomb cyclone that is up towards the Pacific Northwest. And a bomb cyclone, what it means is that we're dropping 24 millibars in 24 hours. That's the criteria. And what that also means is that the barometric pressure is falling so fast that the winds are really picking up that big area of low pressure tightly wound creating opportunities not only for some rain and wind but also for us here in Southern California we're going to get to see part of this the subtropical jets also mixing in with the polar jet we talk about the subtropical jet it usually means the atmospheric river so the atmospheric river coming back and those two are combining right over the Pacific Northwest so I mean as far as really getting in some big rainfall totals. I think Northern California is going to see some of the worst of it. So anywhere from 10 to 12 inches of rain from Mendocino County. Uh, Redding, you're in there. Uh, also in Marin, Marin County, you're looking at an opportunity for some big heavy rainfall. And there might be some isolated spots in Northern California that can reach 20 inches of rain. So this is becoming a very dangerous situation in terms of flooding, flash flooding, mudslides, debris flows. So over the next several hours, we're probably going to watch out and wait and see how this is all going to play out. But it's not looking very good anywhere from Redding Town to Sacramento. Now, for us here in Southern California, loses a lot of its moisture and a lot of its steam by the time it gets down into our region. Starting up on Saturday into Sunday and Monday, we are looking at an opportunity of about an inch and a half of rainfall for our foothill communities. That's probably where we're going to see the most rain, just because we have a zonal pattern. So west to easterly flow, and our mountains face exactly to the west. So I think those western facing slopes are going to get hit hard with some rainfall. About an inch to for rainfall coming down. Half an inch and an inch of rain will be on that Sunday. And then Monday, we're looking at some lingering showers, maybe even a lingering shower or two on your Tuesday. So that's how it's going to play out for the weekend. Now for the valleys and Lenape Empire, this is why we have the atmospheric river. It's just a subtropical air mass, a little too warm to really hold in some snow. So 7,000, 8,000 feet, maybe one to two inches of rain, not a great